This fire is meant for a tough day for the neighbors here, especially for the kids who knew 13 year old Hope Hart very well. You can see this growing memorial to her here with the flowers and the teddy bears all honoring her memory. All this while the fire investigators try to figure out what started those flames. Sweet little girl, really sweet. She was more like a sister. It was just so surreal. It was like a nightmare. Neighbors can't believe 13 year old Hope Hart won't be running around or riding her bike around Shaker Pond anymore. The eighth grader was believed to be in her bedroom inside the house on Hasmer Road last night when flames broke out. Her mother, Grace Hart, also known as Cricket, and her mother's boyfriend both made it out. Hope did not. It's pretty tough. Um, it's tough to lose any family member, but it's real hard to lose them in this manner. Pat Hart is Hope's uncle. He says her father, his brother, called him this morning because he saw the house glowing from where he's living across the pond. Neighbors say Hope's dad ran over here to try to get her out, but firefighters had to pull him back. Soon after, the back deck he was standing on collapsed. I heard the deck fall down. I just couldn't look out. I stayed awake in my bed, and I found out about Hope this morning. <laughs> so sad. Three firefighters were hurt trying to get to Hope, standing on that deck when it collapsed. They're all okay today and are more concerned about how the kids here are handling losing their friend. If you have a bad day, she would just help you out and talk to you and make you feel better. Hope School, JFK Middle School, held a moment of silence for her this morning. The superintendent tells me they'll have grief counselors there for the next few days to try to help the kids through this. Firefighters say the state fire marshal's office has finished up its investigation here on the scene. Right now, this fire is not considered suspicious, but the cause is undetermined at this time. Right now, they're working to board up the house and make sure it's secure before they clear the scene. I am told by firefighters they're planning a candlelight vigil here at 8 o'clock tonight. The firehouse is planning on bringing their truck down to help light that ceremony. In Enfield, Kim Lucy, CBS 3 Springfield.